Hey everybody, it's Hexa, and today I'm going to be showing you my favorite products from January. Uh, before I start, I would like to apologize because I'm not wearing any makeup and I look and sound like hell. Um, I kind of have a cold and a sore throat and the sniffles and all that because it's winter and these things happen. So, uh, <laughs> you know, I mean, my eyelids are puffy and I have to blow my nose every five minutes. So I, I was like, I'm not doing my makeup for this video. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, also, quick little warning. If you're not good with sharp things, don't try to do your eyebrows using an eyebrow razor because I cut my face right there. Do you see that? I did that myself because my eyebrow razor slipped while I was trying to do my eyebrows. So just quick little warning. Eyebrow razors can be dangerous in the wrong hands and quite apparently my hands are the wrong hands which is really weird because I did Nina Vey's eyebrows using an eyebrow razor and it was fine. Anyways, I'm gonna start with Hair care. My favorite shampoo and conditioner for this month have been the Schwarzkopf Extra Care 8 Precious Oil Shampoo and Conditioner. They're really hydrating, they smell really nice, and I've been using this shampoo and conditioner every day since my mom bought it and I'm really liking it. Um, next I'm gonna do skincare products, starting with washes and then I'll move on to creams. So in December, I got my first two St. Ives apricot scrubs. I have the fresh skin one and the blemish control one. The blemish control one has salicylic acid in it, um, whereas this one is more of like a hydrating thing. So I kind of like use these two depending on what my, my skincare needs are that day. So, you know, if my skin's been a little bit more oily, then I'll use the blemish control one. And if my skin is just having a normal day, I'll use, use the fresh skin one because it's more hydrating. So definitely the fresh skin apricot scrub will kind of hydrate your skin and replenish it while also um, scrubbing away at the blackheads and all that stuff. And the blemish control one, um, is a little bit more drying, a little bit more aggressive because of the salicylic acid. But definitely these two are both really, really nice. And I've found that it's made a huge difference to the appearance of my skin. And like, my pores look smaller and my blackheads are smaller. And generally I've been getting fewer breakouts since I've started using these two. So I do really like those. The next thing I'm going to show you is the oil-free acne wash by Neutrogena, the pink grapefruit fa facial cleanser. This is also really good, but it's kind of weird because most acne washes, you can kind of feel that they're a little bit drying, a little bit aggressive, but this not so much. I found it to be really gentle, um, which kind of makes me think maybe it might not prevent breakouts as well as it should because most things that prevent breakouts usually are a little more aggressive than this. But definitely this is a really good product and I do like to use it just, you know, if I don't want to use a scrub, then I'll use this instead. The next thing is the Neutrogena Blackhead Eliminating Daily Scrub. I would not use this daily because the little exfoliating granules in it are a little bit big and kind of, um, you know, they kind of scratch at your skin a little bit. It says that it gently exfoliates, but I think it's a little bit more aggressive than that. However, it's very, very, very hydrating. I know I said the St. Ives Fresh Skin Scrub was hydrating, but this one is even more so. So I really like this because it's a scrub, but it still replenishes your skin and kind of um, gives it some moisture. So I think that's really great. A body scrub type thing that I've been using is actually this peppermint body scrub that I got from my friend Abby for Christmas. And you know, this is something that she just made herself. It says the ingredients are coconut oil, sugar, and peppermint extract. So it's just three simple, all natural ingredients. And I'm really liking it. The sugar kind of like scrubs away at the dead skin and then the oils can help pack in moisture. So I always, when I get out of the shower after I've used this, I feel like my skin is kind of hydrated and there's like a little film of the coconut oil on the surface of my skin that's just packing in all the moisture. So I think this is actually really cool. And I'm thinking maybe I'll try to invite Abby to do a video with me on my channel of how to make this in case you guys are interested. Next I have some creams that I've been using. Um, this is the Nivea Mattifying Day Care Cream. And I've kind of been using this 
as a moisturizer or as a makeup base kind of thing. I mean, like before I do my foundation, I'll apply this sometimes. And I really like it because it's very hydrating, but it's not heavy. So I, I really like the feel of this. And of course, it's mattifying formula, so it's great to apply before your makeup to keep your skin a little more matte and to keep your makeup from getting oily or shiny looking. So I really like that. And it also has SPF 15, so it protects you from the sun. The next thing that I'm going to show you is something that actually belongs to my mom. Uh, this is the Yves Rocher Anti-Age Global Eye Cream. And if you open it up, it comes in like a little tube like this. And then when you open the tube up, it has this kind of like metal applicator. And what's good about that is that the metal is cold, obviously. So, so um, it'll kind of help to depuff your eyelids with the cold temperature. So this is really great to use in the morning if you haven't slept well or if you're sick and your eyelids are puffy. This will help you out. And the reason why I've needed to use an eye cream recently is because obviously it's winter, the air is really dry, and even though I use a really good hydrating makeup remover, the corners of my eyes where I kind of like have to scrub them to remove my eyeliner and my mascara do tend to get a little bit dry. So this has been really great for kind of um, reversing some of that irritation that's occurred because of the dry weather. Uh, the next thing is this Elmi Plant Skin Control Mattifying Gel Cream. Elmi Plant, I think, might be a Romanian brand, actually, and I really like it. It says it has um, tea tree and bamboo. It's a non-greasy formula, and it's recommended that you can use this for a makeup base or as a primer, so I do use that a lot for you know, just as a primer, and I really like it. It's just, it's a really, it's good for moisturizing, and it also um, keeps my makeup matte throughout the day. So these two kind of are a similar sort of product, and I use these, you know, depending what, on, what I'm in the mood for. This one is a little more hydrating than this one, but they're both really um, nice. This is a little sample that I got the last time that I went to Sephora. I'm going to put it up close so you can see. So this is the Kaudali Vinosource Moisturizing Sorbet for sensitive skin. I really, really, really love this moisturizing cream. It's so good. It's really light, it smells really nice, and definitely it's one of the best moisturizers that I've ever tried. However, the actual product is quite expensive. I think it's like 30 plus dollars, but it comes in like a really tiny tube. So I don't know if I can actually afford to spend my money buying this. However, if you can afford it, I definitely recommend it. I really do like this cream. This is kind of in between makeup and skincare. This is the Fresh Sugar Lip Treatment in Petal. And this is a mini version of it. My mom has a big one that I bought her. And I really like this because it's a lip balm, but it also has like a little bit of tint. So this is actually what I'm wearing on my lips right now. I'm just gonna do a little swatch of it on my hand. So as you can see, there is a little bit of color to it, but really subtle. So I do really like this. It's SPF 15, and as most people know, your lips are kind of... Oof, I just dropped something. Your lips are a little bit more sensitive to the sun. So um, it's easy to get chapped lips if you don't protect your lips with some kind of moisturizer or something. So... That's really good that it has SPF 15 and all that. The one thing I will say is that it's kind of melty. A lot of n more natural products tend to be kind of melty, so I definitely recommend keeping it somewhere that's nice and cool. And, you know, I, I don't usually wear it as part of my makeup unless I'm having a really natural makeup kind of day because it doesn't really stay put. I'm getting texts again. Okay, next I'm going to show you the foundation that I've been using, and this was in my What I Got for Christmas video. This is the Revlon Color Stay Foundation. I'm in the shade Ivory, and this is basically all that I've used ever since I got it. This also has SPF 20, so again, a lot of the products that I use have some form of, um, like, solar protection, UV protection, whatever it's called. Um... <laughs> 
So, um, yeah, I have, I've been using this probably almost every day for a straight month and I haven't gotten any breakouts from it. So I really like it. I think it's a great foundation. Um, the coverage is like medium to buildable. I, though I wouldn't recommend putting too much of this on, but anyways, it works for me. It depends on what your personal needs are and what kind of foundations you like, but this definitely works for me. Uh, next I'm going to do brow products that I've been using and there are two. The first is the Gimme Brow by Benefit. I use the one in shade light to medium, but I also want to get the darker tone because I like to mix it up with my brows and I do like a bolder brow, so I'm thinking I could try the darker shade, but this is definitely really, really helpful and just easy to use, you know? Like, it takes a bit of practice learning how to apply it, but once you get the hang of it, it's definitely very easy to use. And the other product that I've been using is from L'Oreal. It's this brow artist designer pro thing. It's kind of hard to explain, but it's basically three products in one. Because if you open it here, it's got this little spoolie brush. The other end has an eyebrow, uh, an eyebrow pencil. And then in the middle, you twist it open, and there's actually a brow powder that you can apply with this little, like, weird little round spongy applicator. So I actually don't use the brow powder from this that much, but I find it really good to use uh, together with the Gimme Brow. So basically what I do is I usually use the spoolie brush to brush all of my brow hairs upwards. Then I'll extend the tails of my brows with the pencil and then I'll kind of fill in my brows really lightly with the Gimme Brow. And that's kind of what my brow routine is currently, and I'm really loving it. Next, I'm going to do mascara. This is the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara, which I got for Christmas from Sandra, I believe. And um, just, it's so good. This is one of my favorite mascaras right now, and I've been using it really often. It's got kind of this really big, fat, brush um, and it makes your it makes your lashes look a lot thicker and it also kind of clumps a few lashes together at the same time so that you know like two or three lashes will fuse into one it's weird I don't know how to explain it in a way that sounds appealing but it's <laughs> it's definitely a really good mascara I really like this next I'm gonna do my favorite nail polish which I think I might have already mentioned this is the OP nail polish in Tickle My Francy. Yes. And uh, this is like a really nice kind of pinky purpley nude. It's what I'm wearing on my nails right now. It's really subtle. It's It kind of works with a lot of skin tones, I think. Like even if you're a darker skin tone, this would still look really nice on you. Not necessarily as a nude because it's not exactly a nude shade it's kind of nude ish but it's a really nice tone and I definitely really like it I think it's very wearable just for every day for any occasion my favorite eyeshadow palettes for this month have been the fantastic color eyes palette by Etude House and the Edward Scissorhands palette by Sugar Pill uh, the Edward Scissorhands palette I've been using a lot lately especially the top row of colors I think it's just so, so beautiful. It's got a really great combination of shades and there's, you know, I don't know. There's a lot that can be done with this palette. And the other one by Etude House is just, ugh, it's so pretty. There's so many really gorgeous colors in here. These are the shades. I'm going to take out this little, uh, applicator wand thingy because I'm gonna end up dropping it but so as you can see there's this like really nice copper shade that I love for my lids this is a nice highlight for the inner corners this is nice to kind of well actually both of these two the pink and the mauve are both really nice for uh, transition shades and then this pink just gives me life. It's so bright. And lastly, this brownie tone, Immortel, is a really, really great color to kind of just darken your crease a little bit and give it more intensity. So usually what I do with this brown shade is that I'll put a tiny, tiny bit on the very tip of a crease brush and then I'll just get it right in my crease, right over here. And it sort of just 
adds a little bit of subtle depth and it looks really nice. It just gives your your eyes a more intense, dramatic look, but without it being overpowering or over the top. My three favorite lipsticks are up next. So uh, two of them are from the Kat Von D Mavita Loca set that I got from my dad. So this is the limited edition shade called Gold Blooded, and it looks like this. It's just really pretty, you know, like it's a nice orangey red with a little bit of golden glitter in it. I just love it. And another shade that I've been wearing a lot is Coven, which is this really nice lilac, lavender sort of shade. It's kind of a bluey toned lilac tone, and I really like it. I don't know. It's just, it's so weird. I've kind of welcomed this shade into my life very easily, and yeah. It's nice. Uh, my last favorite lipstick shade has been the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Patina. I'm gonna do a little swatch of this as well. And I think this goes really well with this nail polish. I don't know, what do you think? They kind of match, right? A little bit, am I crazy? <laughs> um, anyways, that was my last product that I wanted to show you guys. Uh, I hope you liked this video. I hope you like these products. Let me know if you have any of them and your thoughts on them. And uh, if you want a more in-depth review of any of these products, please let me know in the comments below and I will make a video reviewing them. Anyways, I hope you liked everything that I showed you today. Have a great day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!